Can't make you go insane. That's exactly right, brother. But beloved, when you think about Jesus Christ, and you think about that great gift of salvation, Amen. and you think about the Word of God, Bless and you. you think about eternity and the promises of God, hey, it brings about a peace that does pass all Amen. understanding. Amen. And it gives you hope. It gives you assurance. It gives you victory as a child of God. Amen. Amen. We need to get our minds on the right things. Bless Amen. Lord. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. I believe if you're living in the flesh and thinking about fleshly things, you're not pleasing God. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. You're not pleasing God. That's so true. And in 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 1 and 2, For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he should, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the, the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. Yeah. Uh, beloved, after you get saved and you have the heart and mind of Christ, yeah. you want to accomplish the will of God in your life. Amen. Why? Because you have the same mind. Yeah. You have the same goal. Bless him, Lord. You want to see people saved. You want to glorify the name of Jesus Christ. Bless you him. want to tell your neighbor the glorious gospel message. Yes. Amen. Why? Because you got the mind of Christ. Him, You're thinking about the right thing. Bless him, Jesus. And so notice here, as we go back to our text, notice here in verse, uh, uh, verse number two, set your affection on things above yeah. Not on things on the earth. Notice that's the second time that's mentioned in two verses. Set your affection on things above. Yeah. Well, beloved, I think if it's mentioned twice and back to back verses, God's trying to get our attention. We need to have our mind on the right individual, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes. True. So notice here uh, in verse number three for you are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Amen. Notice the life that's been mentioned here. For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. It's talking about a purchased life. Yeah. We are no longer our own. Right. We've been bought oh, with a right. price. Amen. We don't that's belong right. to ourselves. We belong to God. Amen. That's true. Uh, beloved, as a Christian, God has double ownership on us. Bless him, Lord. First of all, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Right. And every living creature God created. Bless him, Lord. Now I come across these, I'm going to be kind here, him, Lord. these individuals that want to talk about little gray men and want to talk about little spaceships and talk about little green men from Mars. Well, what about them? Bless well, I'll tell you, I don't know about them. I've not met any recently. <laughs> but if I have, I will tell you one thing. Bless him, Lord. God created them. Right. It's just that simple. That's right. When God, when the Word of God says God created A L L, He created all things. Yes, he right. did. And so I have no problem with that. Amen. But they want to talk about this, and they want to talk about that, right. and they get into the supernatural, and they get into the paranormal. Let me tell you something. God created everything. That's it's right. It's just that simple. That's he right, did, brother. But in regard to a purchased life as a Christian, he has double ownership on us. One, he's our creator. And second of all, if you're a born again child of God, you're his child. He's bought you by the blood of Jesus Christ. So he has double ownership on you as a child of God. I think it would do us well because of all that Jesus Christ has done for us. The least we can do is have our mindset upon the things of Christ. Yes, blessing, Lord Jesus. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20, What? Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own? That's right. For you are bought with a price. Amen. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Blessing. We belong to Him. Amen. We've been purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 23, you are bought with a price. Be not ye the servants of men. Bless him, Lord. Too many times we're more concerned about pleasing our neighbor yeah. than we are pleasing God. Bless him, Lord. And beloved, we ought to be more concerned about obeying God and pleasing him oh, yeah. than anybody else in our lives. That's a true yeah. fact. Yes. Ah. Galatians chapter 2, verse number 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. 
and the life which I now live in the flesh. That's present tense. This is how you're supposed to be living as a child of God. Notice this. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. God wants us to live for him. That's right. Because we belong to him. Live for him. Honor his name. Glorify God in everything that we say and everything that we do. It's a purchased life. Why? Because we belong to the Lord. Notice here in the next verse, verse number four, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear. That talks about a purpose life. Have you ever come across anybody? Now, I've never been, I don't think I've ever been to a psychiatrist. I think I had one visit me one time. <laughs> You'll get that here in a minute. Anyway, uh, I don't think I've ever been to a psychiatrist or a psychologist. But have you ever had people come up and say, why are we here? What's the meaning of life? Bless him, What's the purpose of life? Bless him, Lord. And beloved, I tell you why we're here as a child of God Amen. is to fear God and keep his commandments. Amen. For this is the whole duty of man. Bless him, right. Lord. We're here to serve God and to live for God as a child of God. Amen. 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 Uh, beloved, it's a purpose life. Philippians chapter 1, verse number 21, the apostle Paul writes, For to me, for to me to live is Christ. Right. And to die, and that's an interesting yeah. statement, and to die yeah. is gain. That's scripture, amen. While I'm here upon this earth, yeah. my purpose for being here is to live for my Lord and Savior, right. Jesus Christ. Right. Amen. And when he calls me home, that's just gain for me. Amen. That's the word, brother. Uh, beloved, yeah. uh, blessed in the sight of the Lord are the death of his saints. Bless you, Jesus. Uh, beloved, I just wonder sometimes, and there's no way that you can do it, or no way that I can do it, but I wonder... As God calls his children home and they enter in to the wonderful kingdom of God's heaven. I just wonder what God thought when he looked down upon my mom and said, it is finished. Billy Joe, come forward. And that moment she entered into heaven, I just wonder. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Ownership. Amen. Child of God belongs to God. Yes. I just wonder what he thinks each time a child of God comes home. Bless him, Lord. I just wonder if he looks at Satan and says, Look! Yeah. Another one slipped through your fingers. Yeah. My son's conquered death in the grave. Bless him, Lord. Amen. Oh, I tell you, I just wonder what he thinks sometimes. Sure. Amen. Yeah. For me to live is Christ, but to die is gain. Beloved, Amen. Amen. we have an inheritance that awaits for us. We have a yes, life that brother. awaits us. Yes, we sir. have a home that awaits us that compares nothing to what this world has Bless to offer. Him, Lord. Amen. Bless and beloved, we get so consumed with remodeling, with renovating, keeping up with the Jones, Amen. doing this, doing that. Bless we think so much about things that have no eternal value. Amen. But yet the best for you and I as a child of God awaits us. Amen. It's in front of us. Praise, Praise be to God. God. Yeah. Yeah. And so a purpose life. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse number 13. Let us, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Philippians Amen. chapter 3, verses 9 and 10. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings Bless being made conformable to his, uh, to his death. Bless you. How much do you desire to truly know Jesus Christ Amen. this morning? Amen. Why don't you ask yourself that question? Amen. You know, you can look at a person's checkbook and listen to what comes out of their mouth. And you can tell how much they really want to know about Jesus Christ yeah. by looking at those two things. Bless him, Lord. And then notice here uh, in verse number four, when Christ who is our life shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Yeah. A promised life, a home in heaven, praise be to God. Yes. I don't know about you, but I look forward to going home one day. Sure. Yeah. Amen. You Lord. know, and as friends and family that uh, yeah. the Lord calls home ahead of each one of us, yeah. It's just going to be that much more sweeter when we get yes, there, is it not? Amen. Amen. That's a truth. A wonderful homecoming, a yes. promised life. First John chapter three, verse number two. Beloved, now 
are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we, what we shall be. But we know that. I love that. But we know that. Bless him, Lord. When he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Well, one day, Heaven, Lord. we're going to see Jesus Christ in all of his honor, yes. all of his glory, all of his majesty. Yes, him, Lord. And beloved, we're going to have a glorified body yeah. just like he has. Yes. True. And this body of corruption right. is going to put on a body of incorruption. Yes, and we're going to be like he is. Praise, praise be to God. Lord. Amen. I tell you what, a promised life for you and I. Yes, amen. In my father's house are many, man and many mansions. Hey, I tell you what, I thank God for God's promises this morning. Amen. amen. Yes, sir. I thank God for that promised life, yes. that life of eternal salvation. Amen. Praise be to God. Yes. John chapter 14, verses 2 and 3. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have, I would have told you. Yeah. I go to prepare a place for you. Yeah. I love the personal pronoun there. Yeah. You. Right. And beloved, that's what salvation is. Right. It's a personal one-on-one -on -one yes, relationship personal with Jesus Christ. Yes, Amen. Amen, brother. That's true. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. A promised Lord. life. Bless you. Jesus Christ is coming again. Yes, he is. And beloved, with everything that's taking place in the world around us, yeah. it points to one thing. Amen. The return of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And the fulfillment of that promised life. One day we're gonna behold him as he is. Yes. And we're gonna be with him. In heaven, praise be to God. I will come again and receive you into myself, that where I am, Amen. there you may be also. First John chapter 5, verses 12 and 13. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the hath not the Son of God hath not life. Yes. These things have I written in you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. Yes. Amen. Beloved, aren't you glad this morning that we don't have a quote unquote hope so? Think so, maybe so. Salvation. Amen. We have a no so salvation. Amen. Yes. Amen. And when I say no so, it's K N O W. Yes, I right. know where I'm going to spend eternity. Yeah. Do you know where you're going yes, to spend eternity? Amen, I hope Bless everybody you. can say and testify this morning Bless you, Jesus. that heaven will be their home for eternity. I say this in closing. Bless you, Second Corinthians chapter five, verses six through nine. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. Right now, we're at home in the body, are we not? Yeah. Right. Uh, we're not. The presence of God is in us in the form of the yes. Holy Spirit. Yes. But we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident and say and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Yes. Wherefore, we labor that whether present or absent, yes. we may be accepted of him. Bless you. I believe before the believer, when we step off into eternity, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And when we die, that is gain. Yeah. Amen. And beloved, these so portions of Scripture have helped me tremendously sure. in the recent events that's taken place yeah. within our family. Sure. Because, beloved, I can't stand upon my feelings. Right. But beloved, I stand upon the promises yeah. of the Amen. Word of God. Yeah. Amen. And I know God cannot lie. Yeah, and beloved, that helps me go forward Bless each and every day. Lord. Because I know one day Bless I'm going to see the Lord. One day I'm going to see Mom again. Yes. And I'm going to see others that have went on before. Be Why? Because we are confident. <laughs> yes, amen. According to the Word of God. Yes, amen. And so, Bless a purchase life, a purpose life, a promise life. Yeah. Three lives mentioned here in these four verses of Scripture. Amen. Amen, brother. And so, beloved, I hope the message has been a blessing to you this morning. And at this time, I'd like to invite everybody, if you would, to stand, please. Everyone's standing, everyone's head. Uh, heads bowed, everyone's eyes closed. I want to ask a question here this morning. Brother Larry, if you'll make your way forward. I'll ask a question this morning. Maybe there's someone here, and the Holy Spirit of God has spoken to your heart. And you're here this morning, and you've never been saved, or you're not for sure heaven will be in home for eternity. <laughs> And friend, if you're here this morning, you've never been saved or you're not for sure or you cannot be in agreement with the scriptures and say that you're confident, I'd like for you to raise your hand at this time and say, Preacher, pray for me. Yes. 
I need to be saved or I'm not for sure heaven will be my home for eternity, would you pray for me? Just slip your hand up, put it right back down. I'm not going to call you out. I'm not going to come to you to embarrass you, but I am going to pray for you that you'll come forward and let somebody take the word of God and show you how you can know for sure heaven will be your home for eternity. Anybody like that, say, preacher, pray for me. All right, I'm speaking to saved people now. Say, preacher, when you pray, would you pray for me and my family? Me and my family have many needs, and the Lord knows all about them. When you pray, would you include me and my family in your prayers? Would you put your hand up? God bless you. I see those hands all over the auditorium. God bless you. I see those hands. Dear Heavenly Father, you saw the hands that were raised. You know the needs of your people. And Heavenly Father, I pray for each and every person, each and every family that's here. I ask and pray that your hand of blessing would be upon each and every one. And Lord, for those that could not be here, you know their needs, you know their circumstance. And Father, I pray that you'd be with them and bless them wherever they may be at. And Lord, I'd ask and pray now that you would bless this invitation, have your will and way. For it's in Christ's name we do ask it all. And now with the heads bowed and eyes closed, if you need to respond, I invite you to come as Brother Larry plays. If the Holy Spirit's dealing with your heart this morning, I invite you to come. If you need help in prayer, there'll be somebody here to help you pray. Spirit's dealing with your heart and maybe leading you to become a member and join here at Liberty Baptist Church. Whatever it is, you obey the Lord this morning.
everybody. Thank you. God bless you. And all of God's people said, Amen. 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 At this time, I'd like for you to be seated. Uh, we've had a, uh, a couple of families come forward desiring to become members of Liberty Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. And so uh, we're allowing them to fill out the necessary paperwork. And so uh, let me come down here to the front. And uh, is anybody finished up yet? Uh, uh, with uh, Are you done? Yes. Are you? Okay. All right. All right, so that's what you come on up here. You're not afraid to stand in front of people, are you? No, uh, I, I do it each week. They, they hadn't thrown anything in it yet. They have maybe a couple times, but they've missed. Okay, so. <laughs> okay we have with us uh, uh, Dennis uh, uh, Pridgen, right? Yes, sir. Dennis Pridgen, and uh, he wants uh, 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 to come be a member of uh, Liberty Baptist Church, and he's coming by statement. Bless and uh, uh, Dennis, I want to ask you a question. Uh, do you know without the shadow of a doubt if, if the Lord were to call you home today and you were to step out into eternity, would you know for sure that heaven would be your home for eternity? Yes, sir. Amen. And so you've accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 All right. So Dennis knows Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and he's desiring to come by statement to join Liberty Baptist Church. How many of us rejoice in Dennis coming Amen. by statement Amen. into our membership here at Liberty Baptist Church? All right, Dennis, if you'll stand maybe just right there toward the end right there. And who's who's ready next? I guess I'm okay. All right, and so you uh, just fill this out. And whoever, whoever gets that first, while well, you just come on up here. Okay. All righty. And uh, it's Laquita, right? Laquita. Laquita. Okay. And so this is La Laquita uh, Pridgen, and uh, uh, she's also desiring to to come. I guess maybe by statement. All right, she's coming by statement. So she's desiring to be a member of Liberty Baptist Church. <laughs> and uh, Laquita, I want to ask you a question. If the Lord were to call you home. And uh, you were to step out into eternity, and you know for sure that heaven would be your home for eternity. Amen. So you know Jesus is Lord and Savior. Yes, Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Amen. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. How many rejoice in Laquita's coming? Amen. Amen. To be a member of Liberty Baptist Church. And so, uh, Laquita, if you'll just scoot down next to Dennis Sire for a second. And who's, who's ready next? All right. And so, uh, Cassandra, uh, you come on with, uh, forward. And this is Cassandra Rupert. And uh, this family's been coming to our church now for about three months, I guess, pretty faithful and everything. And they found out about us, I think, online. Is that is that correct? Uh, or did you drive by? We, we, we looked it up on Facebook, on the closest church by us. Did you? <laughs> okay, all right. And so they, uh, they uh, 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 looked us up online and uh, started visiting with us and, uh, and uh, has... Uh, Fall in love with the, the church and wants to become part of the church family. Amen. And so Cassandra, she's coming by statement as well. And uh, Cassandra, I just have one question uh, that I want to, to ask you. If you were to step out into eternity, uh, do you know without the shadow of a doubt that heaven would be your home for eternity? Do you know Jesus as Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. How many rejoice that Cassandra coming to be a member of Liberty Baptist Amen. Church? And, uh, and what we've tried to do uh, of recent... Hey. is for all those that have uh, recently joined our church, uh, this precious family here, and Bless Jeremy you. and Brittany, uh, uh, we have these packets that we put together that has our articles of faith in it. Uh, beloved, you should never join a church unless you read their articles of faith right. and are in complete agreement with those articles of faith. If you're in disagreement with it, well, one, I'm not for sure why you're going, but if you're going and you're in disagreement with their articles of faith, you don't need to join because it will only cause problems in the future. And everything. So you need to be in agreement with our articles of faith. All right. And so, all right, come on forward. All right. And just take your time. Bless you. Amen. God bless you. All right. And this is Karen. And uh, uh, she's uh, uh, coming by statement as well uh, to be a member of Liberty Baptist Church. And uh, Karen, uh, I just have one question for you. If uh, you were to step out into eternity, uh, Lord, call you call you home today. Do you know without the shadow of a doubt that heaven would be your home for eternity? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. So you know Jesus as Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes, and so Karen is a born again believer. She knows Jesus as Lord and Savior. Yes. And so how many rejoice and extend the right hand of fellowship uh, for Karen and Cassandra and Laquita and Dennis? Uh, they've been coming here for for a while, and uh, uh, we appreciate y'all. Uh, uh, they made this a matter of prayer. They asked about four or five weeks ago, and I gave them the articles of faith, and I asked them if they were still considering, and they said they made it a matter of prayer. Beloved, that's what you ought to do. Amen. Amen. That's what you ought to do. Amen. And so, beloved, uh, they made this a matter of prayer, and they feel like this is where the Lord wants them to, to be at and have a church home here. And so, beloved, at the end of the service, 
Do you all feel comfortable with our congregation coming by? Uh, all right, and I'll, I'll say it this way. If, the, if you extend the right hand of fellowship and they shake hands, that's fine. If they just nod their head, respect that, but say thanks and rejoice with them. Amen. Amen. And extend uh, uh, fellowship to them. And so uh, we're going to stand and pray and dismiss. And when we dismiss, I hope that you'll come by and, uh, and tell them congratulations and thank them for becoming part of our church family. Amen. And uh, 